The question that I get from time to time, uh, is one allowed to set a dishwasher on a timer for Shabbos? Meaning on Erev Shabbos or Erev Yantif, is a person allowed to set a timer on the dishwasher? And that way, Friday night after the meal, clear the table, put all the dishes into the dishwasher, and then at one in the morning, the dishwasher will turn on and wash all the dishes and turn off on the timer. And by Shabbos morning, all the dishes will be clean, and you can open up the dishwasher because now the timer has it on off, and uh, you know take out all the dishes and have clean dishes for Shabbos day. So it sounds like a good plan. Unfortunately, this is not allowed uh, according to halacha. And the reason is as follows, and it's very interesting. The halacha is that we're not allowed to do grama on Shabbos. We're not allowed to do an act that's going to cause a malacha to take place on Shabbos, if it's going to happen for sure in the future. Meaning, uh, you know, you're not allowed to set a timer on Shabbos. You can't do that. You can't go and put a peg in a timer so that at an hour it's going to turn by and turn on the light. You're not allowed to do that. It's called grama. It's not Asr de Araisa on Shabbos, according to them. It's a Grama. It's Midr Abanan. However, it's an, it's an Isr to do that, and we don't do Grama on Shabbos. Uh, therefore, if you think about it, whoever is the person who closes the door of the uh, dishwasher the last time that it's closed, right? meaning, let's say, the meal is finished and people are putting away all the dishes, and the last dish is put in, the last you know piece of dessert uh, cutlery is put in at 10 p.m., and somebody then closes the door and clicks it shut. So now, until that door was closed and clicked shut, the washing, the dishwasher would not have turned on, right? The timer is only going to let the electricity flow, but the electricity is only going to turn it on if the door is closed, right? We all know that the way the dishwasher works as a safety catch, you can't turn it on when the door is open. So what ends up happening is that that person who closes the door for the last time when they close the door and they click it shut. So that is actually an act of grama, an act of causing the dishwasher to turn on. And therefore, you're not allowed to do that on Shabbos uh, or Yamdif. It's like, you know, causing the electricity to turn on and start. Um, so therefore, this is not something uh, that's allowed. It's interesting, Rosh Hashanah Zaman Orbach in Shmir Shabbos Gil and the footnotes over there is quoted as saying there's a, another reason why this is Asr. And he says, we find in Chazal that even if it's not grama, uh, but even if you've got two people involved in the same malacha, like let's say one person brings the pot to the stove and one person brings the fire and lights the fire, so they're both putter. They're both, you know, the, even the person, the person who brought the pot on, he's chayev, but the person who brought the um, uh, I'm saying whoever did the last act is the one who's chayiv. I think I'm saying, you know whoever brought the fire or the pot if it was last is chayiv. But the one who brought the other part there for the malacha to be done with it is pater aval aser, meaning it's also aser mit rabbanon. And Rosh Hashanah says that this is akin to that. This is like a person closing the pot, you know, putting the pot up there on the fire uh, for somebody else to come along and light the fire. In this case, you know, electricity. But you see that Chazal didn't want a person to be even involved in the malacha in that way. So there's really you know, two reasons separate in halacha that are uh, why it is prohibited to use a, a timer on a dishwasher on Shabbos, either because closing that door is grama or closing that door is like putting a pot down in a place where somebody is then going to light a fire, which is its own isra on Shabbos.